I'm you, and I want you to ask this okay, question. Okay, yeah, yeah. Can Jesus create the universe? Because he sees... No. Uh, he sees Father doing that, if he's only human. So this necessitates... No, he that can't, because the universe being. is already created. No, it's by myself, I no, can do nothing. Seen, now he yeah, no, no, that's a verse he's bringing. Yeah, yeah John said... But yeah. he can do nothing by himself. Yeah. So he's not his own authoritative okay, so, being. So you have a father, correct? Do I have a father? Yes. yes. And your father has authority over you, correct? Not necessarily, no. Well, can he? He has authority over you, right? Not necessarily, no. Okay, so fathers have authority over their sons. Not necessarily, yeah, this being no. Difficult. So fathers. No, I'm not. Wait, Does, hold on, do hold you? On. Are you forced to listen to wait, your wait, father? Wait, so for example, let's just go. It's legally speaking, you cannot sign your own documents when you're a child. Your father does that, correct? Anyone can do that. Your if parents, they're your guardian. Your yeah. parental guardian. Sure, sure. Well, this works with mothers or fathers. Do they have authority parent... over you? Yes, they have authority over you. So if they tell you do something, you have to do it. Yes. No, but you don't. Are you saying that God is a little God? Later he will. Wait, wait, hold, he on, will hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now you're hold on. What's that now you're interrupting me. Saying? He's interrupting me. Okay, so let's confirm this. Your parents, who are no less human than you, have authority over you and are equal to you. Yeah. So we agree. People, Man was created people, equally. Hold on. We agree that you can have authority over a being and be no less human than them. So it follows that the father in economia has the authority to. So send are the you son. comparing human nature to divine nature? It's an analogy. It's not identical to what I'm saying. You are comparing human nature Wait, to divine nature. Identical? Yes or no? Um, no. As I say, Jesus says he can do nothing by himself. Is he not his own authoritative yeah. being as God? Okay, so there's one authority, there's one mind, there's one will of the And Trinity. the Father. So I want Is the to, Father I want the authoritative answer. being in the Trinity? There's one rule, one mind. Is the Father the authoritative being there in the one, Trinity? Okay, so I'm answering the question. So there's one energy, one mind, one will. So hold on. If hold Jesus on. wants to do people, something wait, on, and the Father me. does not you're agree. No, I'm so not. we have the authority, so we have one will. There, they take part of this one will whereby the father has the authority, for example, to declare the hour, but they share in the same knowledge. Do, do they share the same knowledge? Yes. So no one knows, not the sun, nor the angels in heaven. Yes, so the, okay. Greek, the Greek word is oidem there, and I know this is uh, going away from the point. The Greek word's oidem, it's to make known. The first, the same Can oidem. You prove is, it? Yes, the first. Yeah, go on. Yes. Bring up the blue letter Bible and bring up the word for word. No, I'm going to use the semantic usage because the nomenutics of the Bible is in uh, unity. I use blue letter Bible. No, because you understand that there's a difference between the interlineage and the semantic usage of the. A uh, word throughout the Bible, right? As I've said, if you can bring up a manuscript in Greek or even just a Bible in Greek and prove. I know nothing about No, much bring the word for word. Yeah. No, because. Bring the word for the word. The interlineage does not point to the fact, rather, it's the semantic bring usage the of the word. Bring the word for word. Hold on. Greek to oh, no, English. Yeah. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Bring because the word for word. This is being disingenuous. No, it isn't. Wait, wait, wait. I, 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 no, this it's is not. This is being disingenuous. Why, why? If I ask, wait, wait. bring a Bible word for word, the. He, the, the if it was I Hebrew Old Testament, verse, Greek New Testament, what is you are bringing me a verse. Wait, wait, hold on. You're not what? even clicking on the website. Okay. You just showed me no, Google no, no, homepage. Look, 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 we can show you. Can Go show on. You. Okay. Show the camera. That's just yeah. a Google search yeah, page. Yeah, we can show it. Yeah, that's it. Bible. Bible. There. Okay. No, bring the word so, word Hebrew. Greek no, word no, Greek. Is used. Bring, show me. Hold on. Show me. So in First Corinthians chapter two verse two, show me. he says he knows nothing besides the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. The Greek word there is oidem. You're not showing it's me. It's used to be, Okay, so here's the verse for you. So show me the word for word. Yes. Greek. To I will show English. you the Greek. Is that hard to ask? I will show you the Greek. Yeah. Oidem. Word by word. I'm not worried about the word. I'm worried about the translation. No, because you know the nomenutics of the Bible. Let's go. As terms. I've wait, wait, asked, hold on, hold on. We're bring it. Now you're dodging. Yeah, I said, bring it. I am not. Bring, bring it. Hold on. I am not dodging the question. You are. I am bring it. Bring it. Bring it. The nomenutics of the Bible is Again, reading it. Wait. You're so, not bringing okay, it. Okay, this is just. You went on wait, to on. another board. You are interrupting me. You went on. Are you interrupting me? You're interrupting you went, me. No, Not you're only is your cameraman interrupting me, you are interrupting me. So I'm going to answer this question with two put. points. Firstly, the nomenutics of the Bible is in its entirety. If you don't want to bring it, the Greek. Wait, hold on, if you I'm don't want to bring the Greek. the Greek. I'm bringing you the Greek. No, you're not. I am. Wait, I am speaking to him. Let me speak to you. As Let I me said, respond to you what did you're not saying. bring me the Greek. I am. And you went on to the nomenutics of the Bible. I am going to bring you the Greek. I am going to bring you the Greek. I wanted the Greek. I wanted the Greek. You understand that we define things in different ways. This is the crackers and the pantry fallacy. When you say Allah has a foot and a shin, that 
is defined differently to how the Arabic you know is translated. Aqeedah? Do you huh? know Aqeedah? Wait, do you do you have anthropomorphism in the Quran? No, we don't. Do we, do we define things differently? As I've said, do you know Aqeedah? Wait, wait, hold on. If you want to dodge on to another point so of Aqeedah, yes we're you are, you're going on to Aqeedah. No, you, want to go into, you want to go into we Islamic philosophy, no, you want to go into Islamic because creed, define, then that's on. a different point. Okay. So point no, one. Because Islamic point creed one, and Christian yeah, creed is two different. We define things in different ways. So, He's going into Aqeedah. And his preaching is on. Just leave it. So, in the case of the Bible, it's in its entirety. First Corinthians chapter 2. Anyway, guys, um, let's let's hit the like, inshallah, and subscribe. Um, do you want to give it a conclusion? The conclusion is first, it started off with a logical basis of the Trinity. We went through the logics of the Trinity, and he kept on going into, first of all, he started with Nicene Creed. When I brought up Nicene Creed and the co-equal, co-eternal, when I asked him, is a human nature and a div divine nature separate beings? He said yes at first. Then when I asked him, if they are separate beings, why do we say there are three people in the Trinity? Because the Trinity is three distinct separate beings. He didn't listen to that. And then he switched to say there's two different natures, but in one being. Then I asked him, simply put, when I asked him on a logical basis, can a contradiction exist? He said no. I asked him, can a square circle exist? He said no. So when I asked him about the Father and the Son being co-equal, in his human nature was Jesus co-equal to the Father? He said no. Then when we went on, I asked him, if they are co-equal and co-eternal, can God's nature change? Because according to the Bible, correct me if I'm wrong, in Malachi, it says that God's nature does not change. So when we look at this, all he did was contradict the Bible. Then he said, the Father is the authoritative being. Then I asked him, is Jesus not an authoritative being over his own will? He said, no. Then he kept on going that no, but they're one being, one will. But I'm asking if Jesus specifically was one being and one will. Simply put, he was dodging questions. He answered my questions with questions and in the end he just went to Aqeedah. If he wants to come to Islam, he can come to Islam and talk about Aqeedah. But he's trying to compare Christian philosophy with Aqeedah from Islam, which is very different. The way we understand God, the way we talk about God and the way we describe God's attributes are very different to Christians. Thank you, All he was doing was running around. Anyway guys, again, um, please hit the like, subscribe and share, inshallah. Zakla khair everyone. Um, I do appreciate everyone's support.